Hey guys, this is Orange Titan back at again with another action figure review. This time, uh, something really different. Um, new line, uh, Mattel's uh, featured favorites. Um, I saw these guys online. I thought these guys were pretty neat for what they were. Um, I uh, I saw them today at Target. I thought I'd pick them up, uh, check them out, see if they're worth picking up or if they're worth the price. They are. Uh, to I think they're uh, $19.99. Um, Bugs Life has always been one of my favorite movies, so I wanted to get this. Out of the way, we have Flick and Doc. We got Monsters, Inc. We got Bingo. We got Crash and his son. Uh, Mike Wazowski, I forget her name. But then you got Bingo by himself. Uh, yeah, it's just a package. That's cool. Like I said, it's from Mattel. Um, I like the accessories from what I see the colors you can't really see what the colors look like but in my camera it's kind of off today but like from what you see uh, it looks good um, like I said sorry again guys if my cameras are a little fuzzy today uh, it's just my lighting until I get a better light it's just gonna be fuzzy like this that's why usually I have the flash on but um, yeah let's get into this review see if uh, these guys are worth it if it's worth the money I hope they are because I really want some Bugs Like figures and I, if these are awesome then I'd love to buy more. If not, I'm, I don't know, I'll am i probably take them back but let's get into it. Alright guys, uh, out of the package. So what I, I can tell so far, I, I just took them out, I haven't really messed with them. Uh, they're kind of hard to stand, especially Dot. Um, Flick, he can stand, you know, just put them right there, he can stand pretty good. Uh, first impressions, I think they look really good. Uh, I like how they're like a little translucent. I like the little, uh, you know, the little uh, dots over them. It looks pretty cool. The faces look pretty good. Uh, you got Flex accessories. Let's get into those first. You got his hat. It's really neat. Um, you got his bag. You know, this stuff can't move, but like you can move this stuff. So that's kind of cool. Um, pretty neat. It looks like you can clip something right there maybe. He does come with the stand for him and Dot. I think that's pretty cool. This is really neat. Um, really hard plastic. Cool. And then he comes with the... I like that they added this. Uh, I, forget, I forget what it's called. But you can actually look through it. If you can... If it's going to work. I don't know. It's not going to work probably. But yeah, you can, you can look through it. Kind of cool. Hard plastic. These are all hard plastic. Except for the hat. The hat, it's like a, it's a more soft plastic, like rubber. Um, let's put Flick over here. Let's get in the dot. Um, because she's more like an accessory to me than another figure. Um, but that's just because she's small. I mean, this is how she looks. You know, got the Mattel writing. Uh, articulation wise, you can move the, her antennas a little bit. Her head, you can go up. That's it, like up, side, 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 can go. Uh, you can see her ball hinge just right there. Arms, so arms, you know, could just go like that, go up and down, you know. Legs, go up, that's it, up and down. She's got peg holes. Her wings are a little articulated. Well, actually, no, they're not. You could just, soft plastic, you could just, whatever. You know, she's more of an accessory, a pack-in. You know, put her on the stand like this. Honestly, if you have her on your shelf, let's see if the stand really works. See, that's cool. I mean, I feel like that's how you're going to have her. I want to get into the main star of the show. It's Flick. Flick is the one I wanted. So, overall, he looks really good. I love the eyes. I love the paint. Uh, I think he's neat. This is the one that, uh, out of all the featured favorites, these are the. This was the pack I wanted. I just wanted for Flick, uh, articulation wise. So leg can go up. Does have a knee joint right there, so that's cool. That's neat. Can go up. Another knee joint. You can twist the leg around to go up higher, like that. That's cool. Hands. That's not bad. He also has a little peg right there if you can't see. So you could probably peg stuff on him. 
That's cool. That's cool. Go like that. Uh, he could actually go down a little bit. That's kind of cool. So he can go up, up, down a little bit. Got another ball droid right there. Flick is a little thick, if you get what I mean. Um, and then the head. Well, let's see. Antennas. Yep, antennas can go articulated. Head can go a lot better than a lot better than um than um dot. Can go up a little bit. Go down. Turn. Turn. Spin. Uh, that's cool. I, that's a lot better than I thought with Flick. Um, that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, that's neat. Um, I think he's really cool. Um, same thing, Pat Cole, let's see. Um, yeah, he stands perfectly just on the stand. I mean, well, he fell off, but, you know, with fours, you're going to get these guys off, but, yeah, sorry about that, guys. My uh, camera turned off. Uh, let's get into the accessories and how to put them on Flick. Uh, let's see how it looks. Um, hmm. I'm assuming you put his attempt. I'm assuming his, his things go in there because they're not a hard plastic. They're like a rubbery type plastic. Okay. I think, I think you just pull, I mean, be careful, don't be. So I think that's how the flat goes. And we're gonna see if it's top heavy. I have a feeling it's going to be, but we'll find out. And then I'm assuming you just go like this. Surely, let's see. And there he is with this. There he is with this. With his stuff. You know, he's got his hat. He's got his. Whatever. And then. Why well, you just put this in his hand. So he got two type of peg holes. And he's got two peg holes. So let's say. I just, I'm like, hey, flick. Um, if it doesn't even want to. Go. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. So there he is with his little his bag accessory. I think it's really cool that he came with these accessories. Um, let's see if he's. Let's see if it's really, because it is heavier on him now. So, let's see. Um, okay, so I was able to make him stand. No problem, but by you know doing that, he's gonna. I think the accessories are really neat. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, maybe a wash on them would make them look a little like more detailed, but for what it is, it's cool. I mean Really nostalgia um, The hat is heavy the backpack is heavy of course, so he's going to be You know a little top heavy now, but if you have the stand, let's see have the stand plug them in Let's move her really fast have the stand Plug them in like that, and then what? Yeah, he's he's okay. This uh this uh joint right here where the waist is, very loose. Not loose, so it's not loose. It's just when um when you put this heavier stuff on it, it gets you can kind of see that's a little loose. Um, yeah, no, I think uh I think it's cool. I mean, you know, really cool. Um. I guess let's get into size comparisons now. All right, so for size comparisons, I kind of left Flick on his stand so I could just, you know, show you what it looks like with all his stuff on, all the characters. I got three comparisons. I don't really have a lot of Disney characters to really compare them to, but we got a Mezco Logan with Baby Hulk. Um, Logan's a little taller. Um, yeah. Then we got, uh, you know, Marvel Legends cap. Taller. Why not? And then the last comparison I have for this guy is a Stormtrooper. Because this is the only, I guess this is the only uh, Disney stuff I have is these Stormtroopers. Star Wars. But yeah, that is uh, size comparisons. So overall, guys, my honest opinion on this pack is, um, 
it's it's cool um not crazy amazing but not bad um i actually like it uh I will. I think I'll be keeping this guy. I think he's cool. He's a neat little toy to mess with. You know, you could just cool. It's got the nostalgia. I do think um, my only problems with it is um, he's a little top heavy when you put the gear on. But if you just have him as normal flick, he's a fun figure to play with. Dot's kind of whatever. But I think honestly, she's just a pack in. That's all she is. She's another accessory. Um, but yeah, I think the accessories he did come with is really cool. I'd like to see more from this wave do i think i'm gonna collect the other ones i don't think so uh, i might get bing bong and i'm i don't know i might get the turtle i forget his name. i think his name is crash a kush or krish or something like that i think it's crash i i could be wrong sorry don't kill me uh do i think i'm gonna get those ones maybe because i i'm a disney fan but if i don't i'm kind of just happy with this flick and dot um, I want them to do more Bugs Life. Like, uh, honestly, I just want, like, a Hopper just to go with Flick. But if we never get that, I'm happy with this. Uh, I'll, I'm going to be happy painting these guys on the shelf. And, uh, you know, even maybe take them to Disneyland, take some photos. But overall, I think these guys are cool. Um, do I think they're worth $20? It really depends on you, really. I mean, I, uh... I was actually able to get these guys a little cheaper at my Target. Um, I actually got them for like 10 bucks, So that's why I picked them up today. Um, I don't know if that's just pricing or whatever. But when I brought it up to the cash register, uh, they rang up. And then, um, yeah, they were only like, I'm not sure if they're getting discounted or not yet. But like, it's kind of weird. Why would they? I don't, I don't know. I was able to get them cheaper. That's all I'm saying, you know, but, um, but I know the retail price are like 20 bucks. So yeah, it's really up to you if you really want to spend your money on these. Uh, if you're a big Disney fan like me and you want to fulfill your, if you're a big Bugs Life fan like me, and you want to fulfill that Bugs Life figure or needs. I do think these are worth it. I think they're worth getting. Um, they're, like I said, they're really fun to play with. I think they pose well. Um, yes, Flick is top heavy when he has his gear on, but you have this, this stand's really nice. I really do like this stand, and I think it's worth, um, having him on it. And it's not like a big black stand or anything like it. It's a leaf, so, you know, it can work for dioramas, whatever. Like, I have this little grass mossy thing, so I could probably do some cool photos, or even take him outside and do some photos. Uh, my favorite accessory, I, I just love, I love the whole bag and get up and stuff, but I'm gonna stop rambling. If you like this review, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of these figures. Are these a pass? Are these a pickup? You you guys let me know. I, I think they're cool. Uh, do I think they're amazing? Do I think they're better than Marvel Legends or Mezco or no? No, but they're their own thing. And that's what makes them special. Um, and that's what I like about them. Uh, Would have been cool to get... Um, I like all the accessories. I I, I, want, I really want to get Flick and that one, I forget what it's called, but where like it would cut the, the branches down and it would, the, the big machine he used would be really cool to have. Or um, just more, maybe more head options and hand options. But for what Mattel gave us, I think they're perfect. Uh, like it, yeah. Uh, just tell me what you guys think of this review. Uh, if you guys want to see other figures besides Marvel Legends or... Any, anything else let me know um i'm down to review anything but um yeah let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys next time peace